Hi, I'm Caroline Flamer, an assistant professor at Ivy Business School. In this paper entitled, Does Product Market Competition Foster Corporate Social Responsibility? Evidence from Trade Liberalization, I examine whether foreign product market competition fosters corporate social responsibility. Over the past decades, the rapid globalization of the world economy has led to profound changes in the way companies operate. In particular, Trade liberalization has contributed to a significant increase in competitive pressure that U.S. companies face from their foreign rivals. While companies can react to fierce competition in different ways, in this paper I examine whether domestic companies use CSR as a competitive strategy to remain competitive and differentiate themselves from their foreign rivals. The concept of comparative advantage is core to neoclassical trade theory and strategic management. The idea is that companies can sustain their competitive advantage by leveraging their resources and capabilities in which they have a comparative advantage. Now, in the context of trade liberalization, domestic companies have a comparative advantage over foreign companies in their relationships to local stakeholders. Hence, I argue that domestic companies may respond to increased foreign competition by strengthening their relations to local stakeholders, including consumers, employees, and others, as they are eager to leverage their comparative advantage to remain competitive. And this leads me to the main hypothesis, namely, an exogenous increase in foreign competition leads to an increase in CSR. Supportive of this theoretical prediction, recent surveys indicate that in the face of rising global competition, over 90% of CEOs see sustainability as critical for companies' competitiveness and future success. Apart from this service, however, very little is known about whether or not foreign product market competition fosters corporate social responsibility. From an empirical perspective, this question is very difficult to answer and the main challenge is the commonly used measures of product market competition, such as import penetration, are likely endogenous with respect to CSR meaning there could be omitted variables that are driving a spurious relationship between the two. And to give you some examples, it could be that long-term thinking CEOs may be more inclined to implement CSR initiatives and at the same time self-select themselves into non-competitive industries given the lower short-run pressure. Or it could be that we have a reverse causality story as companies may use CSR to influence competition. For example, it could be that incumbent companies may increase the CSR in order to preempt the entry of foreign firms. So as a result, finding a correlation between, let's say, import penetration and CSR does not allow us to make a causal statement. In this paper, I overcome this obstacle by exploiting a quasi-natural experiment in the form of large import reductions that occurred between the years 1992 and 2005 in the U.S. manufacturing sector. These tariff reductions led to substantial increases in import penetration and therefore provide a sharp exogenous shift in competitive pressure that U.S. companies face. And to estimate the effect of these import tariff reductions on CSR, I use a difference in differences approach. Specifically, if a firm operates in an industry that experiences a tariff reduction, I compute the difference in CSR before and after the tariff reduction and compare this difference with the corresponding difference at the control firm. To illustrate this methodology, let me just walk you through a simple example. Let's assume firm T is a company that operates in an industry that experiences a large import tariff reduction. So this company is what I call a treated firm. To measure the effect of the treatment on CSR, I compute the difference in CSR before and after at the company. Now, if I only consider this first difference, it's possible that it will capture changes in economic conditions around the treatment. So to mitigate this issue, I use a control group. For example, here is a firm, firm C, which operates in an industry that is unaffected by the large import tariff reduction, but is otherwise very similar to the treated firm. So again, I compute the change in CSR before and after at the control firm. And finally, I compute the difference between these two differences. Using this difference in differences methodology, I find that the reduction in import tariffs leads domestic companies to significantly increase their CSR. This finding supports the view that CSR serves as competitive strategy that allows domestic companies to improve their competitiveness and differentiate themselves from their foreign rivals. It also suggests that CSR may be more core to corporate strategy than sometimes thought. I hope this video abstract was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel welcome to email me at cflammer at
www.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca